you want to level up, right? You want to go from one place in your life to the next to the next place. You want to live a fuller life. You want you want a promotion. You want a business. You want a relationship. So a lot of things that you want and we want. We want to be better people. This principle here, this thought of the day will help you get there. I promise you. I promise you. This is Mr. Cage's thought of the day. Please like, share, and subscribe. In order for us to get to the place we desire to get to, whether it be physically, job, career, accolades, awards, achievements, credentials, degrees, in order for us to get to the place that we desire to get, whether it be we want a house, car, whatever the material things are, but I'm more focused on the internal growth and development as a person. And, and all those facets are relevant. We have to choose not to be intimidated by the people that have been orchestrated in our life for us to receive from. So let's not waste time being intimidated by someone who is supposed to be in your life, someone who you are supposed to receive from. Why does this take place? Because we use the principle of competition when, it, when it's relative to sports and we try to transfer that into our lives. But then we look at individuals from a standpoint of this person is better than me or this person's car is better than mine, or this person's house is better than mine, or they have a better job, they, they spouse look better, their girlfriend look better, they're in better shape than me, they look better, they're more attractive. Once we use the lens of comparison in an unhealthy way, immediately intimidation is going to rise to the surface, we're going to feel insecure, we're going to feel inferior, and we're going to feel unworthy. Because now I have to compete with you instead of receive from you to get to the place that I'm supposed to go, whether it be in my maturity level, whether it be in my business, whether it be in my home life, whether it be in my physical life, in all areas of life, spiritually, mentally, socially, financially, emotionally, there are places that we're supposed to arrive at, but you can never arrive at a place that you've never been unless you get guidance to get there. You, we can never arrive at a place where we've never been or visited unless we connect with somebody that has been there before. And we cannot connect with individuals, each other, if we're in comparison and wasting time and energy being intimidated by someone who I am supposed to be receiving from. We are all fearfully and wonderfully made. We are all unique. We're all different segments of the body that we call community. Let's position ourselves and our mentalities to receive the gift that we are from one another. So my last point in this thought is that everybody is a gift. If you come and want to give me a gift, Christmas or Christmas Eve, whichever, whichever day you choose to give me that gift, I am not looking at the package. I'm thankful for the gift. So the package, quote unquote, can be ugly <laughs> in my viewpoint and my perspective, but it's a gift. And so you're giving it to me freely and freely I'm going to receive it. I'm not looking at the, the package or the presentation in this, in this example. I'm just looking at the motive and that you giving me something. And if you give it to me freely, I can receive it freely. So why am I saying this? Stop looking at the package. If you're trying to get to the next place in your life and whatever phase of life, it doesn't matter about the package. What matters is the content. This is Mr. Cage's thought of the day. Happy holidays to you in advance. Please like, share, and subscribe.